were talking about bracelets that she makes. I make these little, I make these little butterfly, butterfly. macrame. Yeah. Anyone wants one? Put one over them. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be there all day. You'll be there for the next two months. It's like the most meditative thing. Sì, ha fatto questo braccialetto che ha la caviglia con questa bellissima farfalla e lei di solito è proprio una cosa di meditazione quella che fa con i braccialetti macrame.
character. Uh, like, Rose? 
or embarrassing. <laughs> um, I felt embarrassed a lot when I was a kid. All the time. I walk into a room and I just felt embarrassed. I don't know. It's like I yeah, it's like the worst I feeling the worst feeling and I was I was uh, um, picked on a lot when I was when I was in grade school. So I spent a lot of time in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, like it's just I don't know. I, I, I just always felt like this feeling and then one specific time I there was like we have these um uh, recycling boxes and I walked in and I like slipped in the recycling box and everyone was like laughing and that's the, the, the <laughs> memories that I have so I mean yeah and when I feel it now as an adult I'm like yeah that happened whatever because I've always felt that way so now I need to live in it kind of da bimba in realtà era, era, sempre, era sempre così, si sentiva sempre così, un po' imbarazzata, passava molto tempo in bagno, e ricorda che la prendevano in giro, una volta è anche inciampata su un bidone della, della raccolta differenziata, e a pensarci adesso magari dice sì, vabbè vai, è successo, chi se ne frega, però da piccola lo, lo vedi diversamente, quindi è una, una, una sensazione un po', un po
You're less compliant. Yeah, but I used to yeah, they love it. Hurt my feelings. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my NFM, 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 Uh, what was your favorite way of 
I realized that that was unhealthy. And I've always been quite conscious in my um, usage of anything to do with screens. Like I just think that there's a, a real addictive quality they have to be careful of um, because it's not real life. And um, I am so fulfilled by true authentic connection in the real world that I would rather use my time to sort of nurture that and um, and so, and so it's kind of been a, a tripping off effect of like, you know, at first, oh, I maybe shouldn't go on this as much and then I need to go on if there's things that I feel really like will be a positive thing. I also like used to follow a lot of people that I didn't really care about um, and people from my past and stuff that would be posting, um, yeah, posting things that like wouldn't make me feel good and then I would like go on and then swipe until I found something that made me feel good. But you have to go through a lot of, like, I have to go through, filter through a lot of rubbish before I got there that actually in turn made me get in my head and um, be thinking about things that I didn't necessarily think that I, I shouldn't be thinking about, you know, that the, you know, different places. And so then it was just, yeah, I think I probably um, weaned myself up a little bit and then I just didn't feel like I was really missing out on much. Um, but that said, when I do go on every now, I get I get my friends tell me a lot about things that go on. They're like, do you know that there's like people that like post pictures of you like all the time? I'm like, really? That's so crazy. And sometimes when I go on and I read like messages, especially if I post something on Start the Wave or like anything on my uh, Instagram now, I've got the messages that I get. Like they warm my heart in a way that you have no idea. And it's not that I don't have gratitude for all of that side of things. It's more just that. Um, it's not an integral part of my life. And I, I get so much from the connection of actually meeting you guys here that I'd rather wait and save it for them. Thank you. 